So, we were all excited because we had finally a comet. It has been two years we didn't have a comet that we expected to be visible with the naked eye. This comet is called Comet Atlas because it was discovered by a survey called the Atlas Survey, which is looking for near-Earth object. The comet was discovered in December 2019, but astronomers really quickly noticed that he will have an interesting orbit because he will pass nearby our sun and not too far away from us. So that means that this comet could be bright in the sky. So we observe this comet on a regular basis using professional and amateur, te amateur telescopes. We saw it change in activity. We saw that the, the nucleus uh, start vapor vaporizing as the, the, the comet was getting closer and closer to the sun. We saw the formation of a coma, then the formation of a tail of dust and gas. So it, it needs to be clear that the comet are large, in fact, a very big body. They are twice, multiple times the size of Earth when you, when you include the tail. But the nucleus itself is a very small body, a few kilometers in diameter. It's made of ice and rock. And when the, this nucleus comes closer to the sun, because of the heat from the sun, the comet starts entering into inactivity. So sometimes this activity is very simple. It's only on the surface. It makes this beautiful body that we can see in the dark sky. You can see picture of them on, on, on the web. That the last one was the comet Lovejoy, for instance, or the comet Virtanen. In the case of this comet, something we think is happening, something abnormal. The comet had a very bright outburst a few weeks ago. And this outburst may have been indicative of uh, some extra activity happening right now. When the comet nucleus comes closer to the sun, it's warming up, and the heat starts entering into the nucleus of the comet. The comet is not made of homogeneous material. Inside the nucleus, you may have some pocket of ices, and this pocket of ices, because of the heat coming from the sun, suddenly vaporize, producing the destruction of the nucleus of the comet. So recent observation show that this comet nucleus is probably disintegrating. Recent observation of the tail show, for instance, some fragments inside the tail. And the coma is not now the nice spherical coma we, we had a few weeks ago. The coma is now elongated. So if you have a telescope right now, Take the time to search for this comet and to look at it. It's magnitude 8.9. So with a, a telescope, a binocular, you will be able to see it. You will see a comet which is dying. We see, we, you will be witnessing the end of a comet, probably. Thank you.